Across the eastern miles from Cleveland, Ohio to Rochester and beyond, what becomes clear is that our allies are everywhere. From the Bush legacy bus in Youngstown, detailing the last eight years from healthcare to Katrina. After all, people have access to health care in America. Just go to an emergency room. What about my niece? Gun girls, gun girls, he's our man. If he can't do it, nobody can. From Bill O'Neill in Willoughby to John Conyers. What do we need? Health care. When do we need it? Now. To single payer activists. You know, when the insurance companies decide what care people get, they're basing their decision on their profit margin, not on what the person needs. To soccer moms and kids we meet in restaurants. We just met a bunch of kids here in the Spaghetti Warehouse in Akron, Ohio. Ten-year-olds traveling with a club soccer team from Michigan, and uh, they just tied a game here in Akron, and they're on their way uh, home to Michigan. And they understand report cards, so these students, we talk to them about health care and what's important to uh, It's high as great to see. It's high as great to see. That's only totally average. And Senator Barack Obama, he's got um, only visa. Today. So that's a that's a that's a pretty good good rank in the class. I knew somebody's got a mom that's a nurse. One young lady volunteered that uh, she knew that Senator McCain had graduated near the bottom of his class and and almost failed. And if you don't have health care, you can't play soccer. To a man raising money for a sick friend in Rochester. We're, we're um, having a chicken dinner to help um, my my coworker who's he's insured and the boss is helping him out with money, but he still needs money for his medical bills. So we're hoping to cover a little bit of that by selling some chicken dinners and some clams. But what we can't forget among the friends we find is the real legacy. In Youngstown, we were welcomed by steelworkers in a town passed by. Well, this area was basically all manufacturing at one point and we have just been hit by thousands of job losses here in the United States, as well, particularly in the state of Ohio. Our communities have packed up and moved on because there's just no work available here. Yeah. And there seems to be a plant closing in the paper every week, and sometimes it's large numbers, sometimes it's 10 and 12, but it really doesn't matter because each of those numbers has a face, each of those numbers is a family member and a provider.